Hey, Charlie Worthington here, gonna get you out grilling. First thing you've gotta do is get it started. Gonna to talk to you about some choices of briquettes and how to get them lit, and then you can make the best choice for your grill. Fire. First things first, you have to pick a briquette. You've got lump charcoal, which burns hotter, but it burns quicker, so you might have to add some more of that during cooking. Then you have self-start, quick start briquettes. Those light them, they take care of themselves, but they are treated with an accelerant. So you want to get those fully started, burn off as much of that accelerant as possible. You don't want your burger tasting like that petroleum product. Then you have the traditional briquettes. Those you have to light. You can use a lighter fluid, but like the quick briquettes, quick light, you have to make sure that they're fully started and fully burning because you don't want any of that fluid getting in the taste into your food. Then you have fire starters. These are paraffin blocks. You place them in with the coals when you pile them up at the very beginning. You light them, leave them for a bit, come back, spread your coals out. Then you have an electric start. This is the most environmentally friendly. You just stick it in, plug it in. It's like the coil in an oven. It heats up, starts your briquettes. But you want to be very careful of this. When you take it out of the fire, you want to make sure it's not near anybody. It will burn them. My favorite is the chimney. I'm a little cheap, and once you buy this, you don't have to pay for anything ever again. You just take some newspaper, crumble it up in the bottom, place it in your grill, take your briquettes, fill the chimney, get fire, and light the paper up. Let that go once the briquettes are lit up. You take the can and you just turn it and dump out the coals and then you're ready to go. Got to be patient, don't rush it. These aren't quite ready yet, they're still black. You want to make sure they're all covered with ash before you dump them. Looks like they're ready to go. They're covered with a little bit of light ash. We're going to dump them out. Be careful, this is hot. Take our tongs and spread them out a little bit. Put our rack on, get that hot. We want to cover it up for a bit, get that crack good and hot. And you want to keep your vent open because the briquettes do need oxygen to keep going. So all we need is some food and we're ready to grill.